Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Devils United. I can see Mr. Dawes like bopping away. <laughs> Who's it? <laughs> Glad you like it. Um, we're back for a, the player uh, player profiles again, starting with Dean Henderson, and we've got the one and only Mr. Door. How are you doing? I feel great. We're, we're staying in Premier League. We can play Manu twice again, and this time we can beat him. <laughs> The same uh, Nottingham Forest who didn't score a goal against us in four games. That's amazing. We, we, next season, we can get a better team and we can beat you home and away. So we didn't beat you all. We didn't even score past you We can do it better this time. <laughs> well, I like the optimism anyway. Um, I'll just say hello to people in the chat. Good evening to Sophia. Good evening to Bobby. Uh, good evening as well to Reese, and just as Reese said, go and check out Mr. Door on YouTube. Uh, yes, good evening as well to my dad. Uh, thanks for Love coming it. in. Good evening to Niall. Hope you're well. Thanks for coming in. Benjamin, uh, Benjamin Door. <laughs> no, no, don't call me Benjamin. That's a, that's a horrible. No, Ben. Ben. Is that uh, is that when you're being put into trouble when you get called Benjamin? <laughs> Whoa, D O R E. No, you had a shocker. Benjamin Door, that's shocker. <laughs> Good evening, Paul. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. And uh, thank you very much as well, Niall. And good evening, Chris. And good evening to Rather. So this first episode is regarding um, Dean Henderson. Um, he did go on a season-long loan to Nottingham Forest. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on what you thought of Dean Henderson at his time at Nottingham Forest. When he, when he signed for Nottingham Forest, like I said, we had Bruce Sambo in the quad to keep last season. Well, the season in Forest, and he, he went. Um, and then we had to get an experienced goalkeeper who's done it, who's done it in the Premier League. Um, Dean Henson, he, fit, he fitted it. And um, I know he wasn't getting chances at Man United because of De Gea. So it fitted well because, like I said, he, he had time with Sheffield United. And like I said, he wasn't getting time with Man United at all. So getting Dean Henson was a fit. Um, young, he wanted to get um, World Cup time as well. Um, but th at that time, it, it, it was a quality, um, it was a quality signing, and gave, gave some for all Forest fans some um, positive things to say. But yeah, it, it, was, it was a lovely signing, and yeah, couldn't complain. Mm -hmm. I know you signed as well another goalkeeper on loan, which was Navas, yeah. um, an outstanding goalkeeper. Um, how come you signed Navas as, as well as Dean Henderson on loan? Because at that time, Dean Henson got injured. He got injured, mm -hmm. so we um, we had to bring in a Navas. Because, you know, Navas was an um, experienced goalkeeper um, for PSG, Real Madrid. And um, I think, when did he get injured? I think he was injured against the Wolves. Mm -hmm. I think he was one of the two. Um, so we had to bring an experienced goalkeeper in Navas to keep us in the Premier League. And as you know, we did. Um but yeah, it was a sad time. I think with Dean Henson getting injured because I think there was, there was talks of him going back to Man U because, I, I, like I said, again, um, De Gea or wasn't playing great, and Man U needed a backup goalkeeper. And then I think Man U brought that goalkeeper from um, Newcastle, didn't they? So yeah, you, I think we had to bring in Navas because, like I said, Dean Henson got injured. I mean, when did he get injured? I think it was. It was around January, December time because I feel like it was like near the time before you played us in the semi-finals of the yeah. County Cup. Yeah, so yeah, so it was a, a positive thing for us, but listen, Dean hasn't got injured, so it, it was something positive um, for bringing Navas in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard so much about Manchester United's fe fan feelings towards Dean Henderson, um, but... I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Yeah, they are very nice ones. I don't know if you watched the interview as to why a lot of United fans weren't a fan of him. So I don't personally think that he is going to probably stay at Manchester United. Um, I think he probably will be going in the summer. Um, is there any rumours as to if he's going to be start, start, signing a permanent at Forest? I think when when, when we signed him, I was lucky enough to, um, before the season started, went to um, an open day at Nottingham Forest. And I remember D. Henson did an interview with, I think it was with Talk Sport. Mm -hmm. And 
he said, that's it all. What is the thing he said about Man U, the broken promises, um, not getting first choice goalkeeper. And he's got he's got a point. Like I said, we got a, a class keeper in De Gea. And people, and people might agree, disagree with me. Yeah, but, but he is, though. The, 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 but my new fans, like, I'm not listening to disrespect to, to, to um, Dean Henson. Like, Dean Henson, a young goalkeeper, De Gea, he's a class. He's like, huh? He's trash now. Yeah, but come on. He's still a class goalkeeper. Like, me personally, like, would, in the, the over 19 teams will take him in the Premier League. That, that, that's, and that, that's my opinion. I think he's still a class. But, the point to Dean Henson, the interview that he did with Talksport, it wasn't great, but he wants first team football. Will I take him? Yes. He, he, at the time when he was playing football for Forest, like I think any like the people the defense that we had in front of him wasn't great at that time. Um and it was conceding goals left, right, and centre. Um when we losing to teams like Bournemouth, Fulham. When we lost to Leicester 4 0, um, Forest fans had the doubts about him. But at the same time, we needed that. We needed Dean Henson because we had um, Hennessy as well that wasn't doing great. Um, but will I take him? I think there's been some gossip and rumours that we are after him for, uh, I think it was a 30 million bracket. But is he worth it? Time will tell. But listen, I, I, I'll, I'll take him. I'll take I'll take him because he's like he's a good English manager and there's there's no pressure on him because like I said I think he wanted to have a good season with Forest uh, and then um, maybe get a chance at Man U but it seems like after what he said it's it's, it's not going to happen so yeah I'll, I'll I'll take him so that's two question mm-hmm. yeah I do think for me with Dean Henderson we already know the. The bridges are already burnt, and Reese was uh, saying that he's not happy that he didn't even allow Tenag to try him out in preseason. I do yeah. as well personally think if that was the case and we didn't loan him out, I think he probably would have got more games at Manchester United this season because I don't think De Gea has been at his best. Uh, you can see that he isn't doing so well, and I think you can tell the the bridges are burnt. You can tell he probably don't want to be at Manchester United and. As a goalkeeper at his age, he is going to want to be in that England squad. He is going to want to compete with the likes of Pickford, Ramsdale, Nick Polter. Pickford's trash, man. Pickford's trash. How is he number one for England? Well, Pickford isn't brilliant, is he? Let's be honest. He's but He's trash. Aaron Ramsdale ain't much better either. I don't I don't even get how he gets into that England No, Ramsdale, Ram, I, I personally think Ramsdale's better than... Um, I just think for me, with Ramsdale, is he's actually got a semi decent defence in front of him for Arsenal, and I just think when he's when he's on his one on ones, he crumbles. And I want a goalkeeper who's fierce, who isn't scared of anything. And Ramsdale reminds me of that kind of player where a goalkeeper where he gets intimidated quite easily. And I don't want that in a goalkeeper, especially coming it up to big tournaments like the World Cup and um, and the Euros. That kind mm. of mentality, what he's got, I don't think it works. Mm. I think I think I'm the same way. If I say it's a question with like with Dean Henson, if he goes, if he goes back to Manu, he, he's not going to get a chance there. If I'm honest, um, I think he he will definitely leave. Um, and if 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 he comes back to Forest, like. I think like any English goalkeeper, like we can mention Pickford. I think he's like his trash. Ramsdale, Pope, who played for Newcastle. Um, and if if he gets a full season, no injuries, we hope. Then why not? I think he needs to um, play full season to get in that England team. Mm-hmm. Agreed, completely agree. Um, hey there to our number. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. Um, Ravi's got a question for you as well on what do you think Dean Henderson's best a- attributes as a goalkeeper? For me, I've always said he was more great with his distribution. Mm. At Forest, it wasn't <laughs> that great, if I'm honest. His kicking wasn't great, but his shot stopping was good. If, if, if I'm honest, but he made, made some decent saves, especially against that team that you lot hate, Liverpool. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, like when he swore at him. Yeah, uh, no comment. Um, but yeah, it, 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 to be fair, 
I like, I like him. I like him. Really, I think shot stopping. Yeah, his shot stopping is class. To be fair, like his kicking's rubbish. Yeah, it's it's rubbish. But he's still young. He's he's a young young goalkeeper, and um, who will want Dinas? Like I think the the, the, the teams. I think we'll say ten teams. Like even like a top. Will it say top eight team? We'll take him. I want Matt Forrest because he like he's a young goalkeeper, and I'll I'll take him. I'll take him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when he did play the games for Manchester United, we always said, oh, his distribution is pretty good. But probably when you're looking at distribution, that's a De Gea. <laughs> Anyone's distribution is pretty good. Let's just be real here. But um, if I recall, didn't he save a penalty, a, couple, a penalty or two at Forest as well? He, he saved one against, um, who was it? Tottenham, Harry Kane mm-hmm. as well. West Ham as well. Um Declan Rice, uh, who else was it? Was it Crystal Palace? No, the Crystal Palace one hit the post as well. So he, he has he has saved a few penalties, if I'm honest. But that and, that, and that's another good thing as well. And oh, and the um, Wolverton Cup, Carlo Carabao Cup against Wolves, he, he, he did some saves as well. So yeah, you know what? That, to be fair, he is decent with that, if I'm honest. But yeah, another uh, good thing that he can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hey there as well, Prime Hot. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. Henderson was one of the moles. <sighs> we don't know, I guess. I guess uh, we never know, but it doesn't look too good, let's just say. Um, hey there, Liam. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. I would keep Henderson at United next season, but definitely could do a job at the bottom 10 side. If he didn't go to Nottingham Forest, where would you think he would suit? As a, for a club. Say, say again. If he didn't go to Nottingham Forest, what other club do you think he'd suit? Uh, well, I know, like he used to play for Sheffield United, but now they're promoted to the Premier League. Mm-hmm. You do use them. Um, Fulham, any of the top bottom ten, like I'll say, don't don't class the top six, top six teams if I'm honest, but. He's a, he's, a, he's a good young English goalkeeper. I remember Newcastle chasing him, but they've got Pope instead. Um, but why not? Why not? Why not any of the, the, the less t- the biased top six teams? I think he's, he's still class. Like, even I can see Devils United say Crystal Palace. Like, even Palace. You know, I know Palace has got a keeper in Johnson. Is it Sam Johnson, I think they've got? So, yeah, yeah well, I don't see why not. He, he can play. Um, any other teams in Premier League because he is a, he is a good young goalkeeper and he's still. When you mentioned just, the bottom ten, are you including Chelsea in that? Yeah, why not? Even <laughs> even, even even Liverpool, Liverpool are top six um, play for Liverpool. No, that will never happen, but yeah, <laughs> Liverpool as well. I, 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 I would say Leicester, but they they they're not in the Premier League. They're in the um, they're, in, they're in the Championship. So yeah, that's 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 a no go. I don't think he would probably go to. Um... Chelsea, though, in my opinion, uh, I mean, uh, Leicester, though, in my opinion, one that we actually who, 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 who would go Leicester? No one, they're, they're in the championship, mate. Just, just, just put it out there. <laughs> oh, no, what you're a massive, you're not a, a massive fan of Leicester, are you? No, 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 I'm right? not, massive, it's, just, it's just these Leicester fans, they just keep piping up like they're, they're the best, uh, the best East Midlands team in, in the Premier League, but we're, we're in the Premier League and they're in the championship, so yeah, it is what it is. That's been different for quite a long time, hasn't it? The opposites are reversed. Nah, we were still bigger than team. We're bigger than them, and that's the facts. Yeah, you've got the Champions League, so. <laughs> no, I don't, want to mention, I, don't, I don't want to mention Champions League, like, but they can talk about they won the Premier League, blah, 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 but now there's a championship and winning Premier League, so that, and that's facts. Exactly. Spot on. Do you know another one who I actually think they could get in in the top 10? T- not uh, Tottenham Hotspur because they're looking for a new what, goalkeeper. Was with talk, new there was talks in going Spurs. Um, in was it in March or April? I think there was because I think Lloris was um, he, he was, he's leaving Spurs, so there was talks in going to, to Tottenham Hotspur. But I know Spurs, I know Spurs are about to get a new manager. Um, but you know, we know anything could happen, but it'd be nice for him to come to Forest because Spurs that win out, and um, yeah, I think he. He's got a good chance to come to Forest to win something. Well. Mm-hmm. 
exactly. Reese has said Midland Clubs, one Forest, two Villa, three Leicester. I'm sure Ooh. you're making Mr. Door very happy. Very happy. No, but I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm talking about like respect what Villa was like. With Villa, they're more West Midlands, East Midlands, like you got Forest, you got Leicester, and you got that team from down the road, but they're in League One. So they're, they're, not, in, they're not in this conversation because we're Premier League and they're League One. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to talk about, everyone knows what I'm talking about, but I don't want to mention in this in this conversation. Well, yeah. Um, hey there, Antonia. Thanks for coming in. Hope you're all well. Glad you like the kit. Um, I, like the I like that top. Thank you very much, Mr. Dorr. I'm glad you like it indeed. Uh, there's been a few questions as well for you. Um, I just want to say hello to Oddly too. I look too cute like a three-year-old bitch child baby. I'm not too sure how to take that one, but thanks, Oddly. He, he wants to go on a date with you, Maisie. Just say no to me. <laughs> Mr. Door, don't be a matchmaker. <laughs> door, door, d- blind date door, eh? <laughs> um, my dad has a question for you, Mr. Door. He said, "How happy are you that Forest has stayed up?" Very happy. I'm very happy. I don't. I didn't want to go in the championship because championship is horrible league. We were there for 23 years. Um, there, there, there was times I was saying, "Oh, we're going down because we keep losing away," um, and then yeah, to stay up. I, our home form has been important, to be fair, because people didn't give us a chance against Chelsea, um, was it Arsenal, Brighton. We got seven mm-hmm. points out of them, um, and yeah, no one, no one gave us a chance in hell. So just, just to stay in the Premier League, Robert. Um, it's an amazing feeling and I can't wait for next season because it's like, like, amazing. like I said, I like talking to you, I like talking to other content creators and um, yeah, I would have missed it if I'm honest. But like I said, uh, Leicester, I can't talk to Leicester content creators no more because they've gone down, especially Leeds as well and Southampton. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the Premier League and staying up and playing teams like Luton and Burnley again. Mm-hmm. Luton's going to be a very, very interesting one. Um, yeah, it's a nice ground. I've been there three times. It is, it is a nice place to get to. Uh, but how's the actual stadium itself? I bet it's a bit of an experience going in the away end. Oh, you're going through, you're going through someone's back garden, aren't you? So, yeah, I always want a cup of tea, but they're never in. So. <laughs> they probably look at you and go, don't want to answer the door to miss the door. <laughs> you people know who I am. So, you're not the door. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I know you're glad about Forest staying up and when I actually went on your channel there was a bit of a, a debate on whether Steve Cooper should stay up uh, well stay in or should he get sacked and um, I said that I thought Steve Cooper should stay in uh, and I think that made you very happy but I think it was the right cho- choice overall with Steve Cooper of course, of course it was Definitely a choice because all these pundits, all these so called content creators, so called who are, who are against saying, Oh, Forest will go down and this and that. And I remember for the start of the season, I think it was Talk Sport, Tony Casarino said Steve Cooper will be the first manager to be sacked. And how many how, how, people in the chat, how many managers got sacked? I know how many was, I just want people to chat. How many managers got sacked and Steve Cooper didn't? That's it. And it's his first season as a Premier League manager, and um, he, he learned from his mistakes because he knows he, there's loads to, that he needs to, to fix for next season. And listen, I, I'm, I've always been Steve Cooper's um, one of the biggest fans from him because his record didn't lie. Um, he, he won the World Cup for the under 17s. He got Swansea back to back in the playoffs. He got Forest up after we after coming to the National Forest bottom of the Championship, got us promoted, and he kept Forest up. That the, that was the first thing he had to do: keep Forest up. And he did. He proved so many people wrong. People's opinion, and that's fine. But um, but yeah, I, I, I boy, next season is going to be more tough for him because manager, the, the, the owner, Mr. Malnakis, wants to achieve things. He wants to win big for the club. So um, Steve Cooper will be in bigger pressure, not just like the other 19 managers. So not, 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 nothing's going to be changed from what's going to happen from last season to this, but it'll be, it'll be more pressure, but I think Steve will be, um, he'll thrive on it if he's, if he keeps the job. Mm-hmm. And a lot of fans admired the fact that the owner was 
did give Steve Cooper that contract extension to say, I back you, I trust you. Um, mm. Another thing that people took by surprise with the owner was the last day of the season when he actually done an interview with Sky Sports. Yeah. It just shows how down to earth really he is. It, no, he is. Um, Mr. Maranakis, like I said, I, I've met him a few times. And, that, and then he's a, he's a, a, a owner who wants to do good things for um, for Forest. And he wants, like I said, he, I don't know if people know that he owns Greek side Lipiakos. Um, he's won 13 titles in a row. He's not won it this year, but um, he wants to do things for Forest. He spent 150 million at Forest. Um, everyone will start hating about it because we're spending money. Um, but it's because of all the plays you've got, and it worked out anyway. It worked out anyway. So, like, and because, like I said, this is the same people that wanted Forest up and we spent so much money um, and we didn't do too well and they wanted us down. So, if any people out there wanted uh, Forest down, guess what? We're staying up um, for, for another season. So, listen, I believe in Steve Cooper. I believe in the owner. Um, I'm not going to put my head out there and say, oh, we're going to get top six because it, listen to me, it's not going to happen. Um, you never know. But, um, Listen to I'm looking forward to it and Steve Cooper's a great manager. Mm-hmm. Um, hey there to my queen. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. Um, Nick. Yeah. Um, hey there, Andrew. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. He said, you can keep Dean Henderson. He is a snake. I told oh, him he's not going well. Because, because he wants to play first team football. If, listen to me. Let's keep it real. If any person was a goalkeeper and that and do they really want to sit on the bench? No. So, Andrew, come on, mate, man. You, If you was in his position, um, you'd be exactly the same. And if, and if, you, if you think he, and if he wasn't, you'd be you're lying. People in the chat, would you, how, do you feel the answer was, should be exactly the same? So, yeah. It's also said, I was a Doors Channel about 18 months ago when they appointed Q, but he wasn't impressed. Who, me? <laughs> I was in Show the receipts. <laughs> This is what I said, right? This is what I said because there was um, Chris Wilder, a massive fan of Chris Wilder. And at that time, I didn't know much about Steve Cooper, but I knew about his record. Like I said, he, didn't, <coughs> he did, um, he got, um, <coughs> what's the kid? He got Swansea in the playoffs back to back. He won a World Cup for England on 17s. And the record says it all. So, Andrew, <laughs> to that question, I didn't say I wasn't impressed. I didn't really know him. But look, from from, from 18 months ago, what's happened, Andrew? Premier League. <laughs> exactly. Um, hey there, Vincent. Thanks for hey, coming Vincent. in. Hope you are well. Um, so, Ravi has said, thoughts on why a lot of players didn't work out at Forest? Um, to be played, that's a problem. Too many players, and um, it, it's listen to me. Is um, any manager who who has thirty players in the club, it's we're going to struggle to find a fit. So, but at the same time, and, and people will understand, people don't understand. We had no choice to bring in that amount of players, and like some players, it is and worked out like Jesse Lingard. That had, that didn't work out at at all. But off the pitch. He's helped players like Brennan Johnson, Mog Gibbs, White, um, players from the academy. We can pull, we can call it, a, call it as a is it cheap, you know, and that. But listen, we had no choice, and the, the, the most important thing is we stayed up. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all it matters, maybe. Absolutely. Um, hey there, Julio. Thanks for coming in. No need to apologize. late. Um, my dad has another question for you, Mr. Door. He said, he like you, he? He Yeah, like he you. like he does like you indeed, Mr. Door. Channel, Robert. <laughs> I'm sure he already has because um I know he likes watching you. Um oh, thanks, Robert. <laughs> he said, if Man City win the Champions League, are Forest fans going to sing we won more than you? Listen, mate, I don't want Man City to win the Champions League. That's me. I don't want him, I don't want him to win it. That's and that's a fact. I don't, I don't, I don't want him to win it. And um, yeah, I don't. Want We've to win got it. Mr. Cooper over there who started. Daddy. <laughs> no, 
Me. <laughs> I didn't even say a word. I didn't even say a word. Wait, you try, see, you trying to make me a bad person now, Maisie? Okay. Fine. I'll be a bad person. <laughs> How are you going to be a bad person? You, you're trying to say to me, I started that chat. <laughs> I <laughs> she's a liar. People in the chat, she's lying. I didn't start no channel. I just said to him, Max City your fans always pipe up. Oh, fans live in the past. Listen to me. Won't be winning. Everyone's got history. Man United got history. Liverpool's got history. Man City, they've got history. Everyone's got a history. I can sing it if I want. <laughs> well, he isn't the main, he isn't the main I, I, culprit. I was about to swear there, but I, I turned it, so. Well, Mr. Dawes a very nice man. Uh, he wouldn't cause a single thing. I wouldn't. I would. I, I would never do that. <laughs> um, Ravi has said, as you know, saw Liverpool lost on at Forest. Bet you were loving the three points. Um, yeah, of course I was about because I can't stand them. I can't stand Liverpool um, because I've got loads of Liverpool friends on Borough Sports Liverpool, and when we won them at our place, it was amazing. And we were looking enough not to get a point at Anfield because we we were good there and we played well. But listen, we beat Liverpool. At least we beat, we beat Liverpool. That's, that's all that matters. And um, yeah, we'll beat them again so they can cry again. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Andrew is asking this, but he wants to know your views on Gibbs White's girlfriend. I know, I know congratulations on him. They got um, they're expecting a baby. Yeah, um, so, congratulations to Moggy's wife and the, and the partner. But yeah, but, well, <laughs> that's a bit of a weird question. But yeah, congratulations to Moggy's wife and his partner. Um, and he also wants to know who your play of the season was. If, if from me, if I was watching for, I, the games I'd watched of Forest, I'd say Gibbs White. Uh, from say that, that Moggy's wife, he's a, he's, a, he's a top player. Um, yeah, Philippi, Philippi, uh, Danilo, um, Brendan Johnson as well. People can forget him because he scored 10 goals, he made eight assists as well. Um, I'll say more Gibbs White or ben, no, Brendan Johnson. No, more, no, Brendan Johnson because the pressure that he had at Forest, um, because what he has done for the last two years for the club, it's been amazing. So, listen, I'm, he did what he did. I know he didn't play, he didn't play much at the end. Um, Apple Forest, but listen, he's been great. So, but Muggers White again is a Tabo Wani, that's Liverpool player. He, he, he come back from injury, scored eight goals in seven games, I think it was. I don't know if it was or not, but uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a players that um, were top of there, but Muggers White. Mm -hmm. Risa said, Well done, Forest, for telling Lingard he is not wanted. It just, it just didn't work out, and, and that's a fight. He just did, it just didn't work out. Um, and like I want to read what, what I said. He's, he helped a lot of players off the pitch, like Brennan mm -hmm. Johnson, uh, Mark Gibbs White, and um, yeah, like I said, it didn't work out. But that's football. It happens to everyone, not just Liam, just Lingo. It happens to everyone. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. Um, my dad has also asked you, Mister Dor, who's your favourite all-time Forest player? Listen to me, the younger generation won't understand. Um, Ian Wayne is there. Um, played for National Forest in the nineties. Fantastic left foot. I don't understand why he didn't play for England. Um, because I remember that time we were trying to find a left winger. So Ian Wone is my idol. He's a coach at Everton as well. And lucky enough, um, I speak I speak to Wone occasionally. Um, and he's a top he's a top top guy. But yeah, he's my he's my favorite all time player for Forest. Mm -hmm. And we'll finish with the final question on. Uh, you signed 3,284 players. Who's your favourite signing? Uh, great question. Danilo. Um, we can say we can say more Gibbs White. Um, to, uh, he's a good signing. But for me, Danilo, Queen January, Brazilian wonder kid. Man U wanted him. No, when the Arsenal wanted him. No, sorry, I don't I don't want to put your high hopes there, maybe. Um yeah, Arsenal wanted him, but he couldn't tell about a club. Team is one back to back uh, Europe, Europe, European. Who clubs. wants to go to Arsenal when you've got Nottingham Forest, who's got Champions League, who's exactly. got in, stayed in the Premier League, who's been in the semi finals of the Conti exactly. Cup? Exactly, amazing. You tell him. Come to back. Yeah, yeah. Danilo. Danilo um, for me is um, 
was my favourite sign of the season. What Reese is asking me to an- answer some question. I don't even know what the bloody question was. There's loads. Uh, well, so make sure everyone, everyone subscribe to Doran Tall. That's what you're doing. Uh, do you think Henderson has the chance to redeem himself at United? I've I've already slightly touched on this, and it's just no. I don't think he does have the chance to redeem himself. Um, he's burnt his bridges. Nope, not happening. But with that, we will wrap it up. Um, thank you, Mr. Dor, for coming on. Um, no worries, no worries. We're back on again when, when we play you lot. So yeah, watch out for myself. Yes, I will looking forward to it. And maybe if I do watch Forest at Old Trafford again, I might be able to see you again chanting. <laughs> Yeah, you may, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sing to you as well. To, to, if, if, I, I hope Man City will win the Champions League. I'm just Depends praying. what you're going to be singing to me. Um, I'll, I'll say it off camera. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back on the channel. You'll be back on my channel as well. For um, the people, if you please do, make, make sure you go subscribe to my channel if you can. Yeah. It's going to be different and yeah, can't wait. I'll look forward to having you back on again next season, Mr. Door. Uh, you're a fantastic content creator. You make me laugh every time you come on. You make me that laugh. I'm it to make you laugh and smile. <laughs> oh, sorry, Robert. I don't, I don't want to think that, but yeah, that's my <laughs> job. Would you like to shout out your socials and your brilliant, brilliant channel, Mr. Door? Uh, on Twitter, it's Mr. Door the Line, um, a little dashboard. So, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Please do on Instagram as well, um, and especially my YouTube channel, Forest. It's Door on Tour, like it's there. Go on Tour. Uh, new things will be happening for my channel uh, for the start of the season. I'll be back. I'm having a little rest, but I've got a vlog coming out because I don't know if your your people know or what if the, the wall know him. I won the Mr. Beast um, Damage yes, Playbook as one. well. So um, I've got a vlog coming out soon for that. That's coming out tomorrow morning um, because um, I think I'm fed up with it. So. Yeah, um, just make sure everyone subscribe to my channel, Door on Talk. On the road, on the road, on the road to 12k. Let's get Mr. Door to 12k. Fantastic Nottingham Forest creator. I'm one of my favorite people to have on my channel as well. Uh, I've had a lot of people on my channel, Mr. Door, and you're one of my favorites. So, uh, appreciate that. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have you on. So, I just, um, I just saw a comment from Andrew Williams, Martin the Welshman, best host on Door on Talk. Martin, you know about Martin Price, Andrew. Martin Price, you know about Martin Price, the Welshman. He's a bell end. <laughs> if, he, if, he's, if he's all about that Welshman, I'm, I'm going to his wedding next week. Yes, yes, he's a, yeah, top guy, Martin. I'm going to his wedding next week. Uh, shout out to Martin. He's a bell end, anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, Judas Ratcliffe out Judas Ratcliffe out uh, yeah we should hope that he doesn't sign for Man United but yet uh, again thank you Mr Dole for coming on best of luck for Forest next season hope you stay up again for season 2 so I can keep doing my streams with you uh, so uh, everyone hit that like button subscribe button um, and also check out Mr Dole's channel I will be live again tomorrow so go and check that out Have a nice weekend, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Up the forest!